Alright, what's up guys, it's me Sean here with some math tutorial here today. And today we're going to learn how to factor that has four terms in one polynomial. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to come up with a question. So let's do that. So we have x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 6. So notice uh, this one has one term, two terms, and three terms, and four terms, right? So when you look at this, you cannot, you have to know that you cannot use AC method right away, okay? So what is AC method? If you don't know what this is, please check out my previous factoring video and I talked about this and it's very handy trick. So sadly we cannot use that trick with the four term polynomials. So what we have to do is we have to use special method. Uh, it's grouping, grouping method. Okay, so what do I mean by grouping? Uh, so what we gotta do is we gotta group these first two terms and we gotta group these uh, last two terms. So we have group of x cubed plus 3x squared and we have another group of plus 2x and plus 6. Okay, so from here the second step we have to do is we have to factor out a common stuff. Okay, so in these two here you can see that there's two X's that I can pull out from each of these, right? Which means I can pull out an X squared. So we're left over with one X plus three, just like that. And from here, I can factor out what? Two, right? So I'm going to factor out a plus two. So that way we're left over with X and plus three. Nice. So again, we can check check this here if we see if we did this right and if these two terms are same that means we're in good shape so let's continue and the third step we have to do here is combine okay so we have to combine those two so what do I mean by combining I'm going to combine these two into one and I'm going to combine these two into one so we have two different answers or not two different answer but two terms so x squared plus 2 as my one answer and x plus 3 as my second answer so that's how you solve a four term polynomials so don't try to use AC method right away when you see four terms just use these three step method okay and if you guys have any other question about like how to solve other stuff please leave questions on the comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.